Now I think I'll go into talking about the hothouse or fur dome. And the hothouse produces far infrared energy, which is part of the sunlight spectrum. And for those of you who are not familiar with far infrared, if you're outside on a nice sunny day and you're standing there and just feel that sun coming at you, you can feel the warmth penetrating your body. Well, all of a sudden a cloud comes by and you get cold. You ever feel that? It's like, whew. Well, the air temperature didn't change. What happened? Part of the sunlight spectrum stopped coming through and you got cold. So our hothouse produces far infrared energy that penetrates the body up to an inch and a half in at full strength. Beyond that, it's a little bit weaker, but it still penetrates even deeper than that. So we tell people the hothouse will do three things. It's going to expand your capillaries, increase circulation, and help cells regenerate. Now, if you have any idea what I just said there, it's huge. Cells regenerate. That's huge. So, here's what I've noticed on the hothouse. If you use the hothouse, I use it for people with pain, swelling, inflammation, allergies, asthma, sinus conditions, eczema, acne, infections, all those things I use it for. And within 15 minutes to one hour session, they'll notice either a difference or a total improvement or completely gone. And again, everybody's different. So I don't know um, how fast it's going to work for you, but I would definitely try it if you have any of those problems to see what happens. Um, I'd like to share with you um, in this large testimony book I've got here about far infrared. In fact, when I first heard about this technology, I said, you know what, it, I, I don't want a hothouse. I don't need a hothouse. They're too expensive. Why should I get one? I remember it was about the seventh, about the sixth week um, in this business, well, the fifth or sixth week, I was reading in this testimonial book in here, and I had gone to the back part of the section uh, on testimonies, and it showed clinical treatments with the fur dome. And these were clinical studies that had been done with the fur dome or hothouse. And what happened was they said that they had of 150 patients given clinical treatments for sciatica and rheumatism and stiffness in the shoulder and aches and pains and arthritis and bedwetting and frostbite and headaches and inflammation. 70% experienced improvement or complete relief. And I thought, wow, that's powerful. And then I read a little bit more. It actually almost sounded too good to be true. Um, this was farther back, and it was in regards to uh, cancer. It says, the cancerous cell has a weakness in, in its resistance against heat. It will die if the temperature goes above 42 degrees Celsius. The fur dome has its own heat source, which is penetrating and can transmit its heat to the depth of the human body. Then it says, in the Orient, the fur is the number one way to fight cancer. Here, they're referring to the United States, here we use chemotherapy and radiation. There they've just reversed it. Here people don't usually use the fur until they've exhausted all the resources. Um, it's unfortunate that that's true, but um, then I read in here about asthma. It says here, a person came into his office with pneumonia and with therapy through lymphology in the fur dome, the malady was gone, the malady was gone in 15 minutes. And I said, oh my gosh, that sounds too good to be true. I closed that book and I called. The next day I called my mom because I didn't own a hothouse yet. And I said, mom, I said, what do you think your hothouse? She goes, I love it. I said, why? She goes, well, um, she was a beautician at the time. And she would stand, her feet would be sore, her legs would be sore, and her arms would be sore from working all day on women's hair. And she would use the hothouse every night before she went to bed and she'd sleep all night long without pain. And I said, could I borrow that hothouse because I want to demo it on some people and see if it helps. And she says, as long as you have it back by 8 o'clock at night. I said, not a problem. And so anyway, I brought the hothouse over to my house. And that day I had four people come over. And three women and one gentleman. And the first three, I said, does, the three women, I said, does anybody have allergies? And the first lady said, Jeff, I'm so plugged up I can't breathe. And <clears throat> she sounded like that, just like a little... Pig. I mean, she was that plugged up. She couldn't breathe. And I said, would you do me a favor and test this hothouse over your face? She said, sure. So we put the hothouse over her face. Again, we put the moistened cotton balls, moistened Kleenexes over the eyes to keep the, um, keep the eyes closed. And after 15 minutes, we pulled the hothouse over her face. And she goes, I can breathe. I almost fell over. I couldn't believe 
how fast it worked. The second gal was all plugged up, just like the first gal. Couldn't breathe through her nose. She saw the same thing, couldn't breathe at all. And she had bags underneath her eyes. Her face was swollen from the um, allergies. And I said, do you want to try? And she says, yes. So she laid down, put it over her face for 15 minutes, pulled it off her face, and she goes, I can breathe. How does my face look? And I said, well, I don't know. I really can't tell if there's any difference. So I said, why don't you go in the bathroom and look and see if you can tell if there's any difference. So she walks in the bathroom, comes back, and she goes, Jeff, I think it's a little bit better. Can I use it more? And I said, I don't know. I mean, this is the first time I've ever had the thing. So I'm flipping through this book, and I find where it says you can use the hot house for like one or two hours a day. So I told her that. So we put her back down on the floor, put the hot house back over her face, again, the moistened cotton balls, Kleenexes, and gave her 30 minutes more, pulled it off her face. It looked like she had a facelift. All the swelling was gone. The bags underneath her eyes were gone. She couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe this stuff is true. So then the third gal, she had a backache. And we put the hot house over the small of her back. Within 15 minutes of that, the backache was gone. The fourth one was a gentleman. He says, Jeff, I don't have any problems. Anyway, I got through demoing all these machines. The ladies all left. The guy says to me, he says, Jeff, if I went to see this with my own eyes, I never would have believed it. And he went home. He already owned a chi machine, so he bought a second chi machine. He bought his first hot house. He called me three weeks later, and he said, Jeff, he said, I want to tell you what happened. He says, I bought the hot house and the extra chi. I went to my father-in-law's house, and I spent three days with him, working him with the chi machine in the hot house. We canceled his wheelchair order. And ever since then, I started demoing the chi machine and the hot house together. We're getting fabulous results. I'll give you another example. I met a guy that through one of my other businesses I've got, and he was about 70 years old at the time up in Elk River. Uh, it was Jane Walter's father. And when I met him, he had lost his right leg up to his waist because of diabetes. And on his left foot, his second toe was oozing pus. And he showed this to me. And it, it looked bad. And he said, Jeff, he says, the doctor has scheduled me to have that toe cut off. He said, I'm not going to the doctor. I said, why not? He says, because that's how the right foot started. First it was the toe, then it was the ankle, then it was the knee. It wouldn't heal, wouldn't heal, wouldn't heal. Then it was the waist. He says, if I lose both legs, I'd rather be dead. I said, all right, well, I got some equipment that may help you. I can't make any promises, but let's give it a try. We put him in bed with the chi machine. We put a piece of plywood underneath the chi machine. We put the one leg in the chi machine, and we put the hot house over the foot with the oozing pus. Make sure he took off the socks. We get maximum penetration, kept it as close to the hot house as possible. And here's what happened. I didn't know this until later, but three weeks into it, it actually got worse because I didn't hear about this until like six, seven weeks later. But Jane Walters got scared. She said that the toe got worse. It started turning red. More pus was oozing out. She called a nurse friend of hers and told her what I was doing. And the nurse friend said, keep it up. It's healing from the inside out. They kept it up and six weeks later, that toe was totally healed. Now, it's just unfortunate I wasn't able to meet him before he lost his right leg. So do you know anybody with diabetes that has an open sore or a wound that won't heal? I'm telling you, these machines are incredible. Another guy named David Greer, he had a, an opening sore this big on his leg, and the doctors had scheduled to cut his leg off. And he said he's not going to do it. He's right here in Minneapolis. And he, he decided to put his life in order. And he said he gave his life up to the Lord. And he was getting ready to basically get his life in order and pass on because he wasn't going to have his leg cut off. A friend of his introduced the chi machine to him through his wife. He wouldn't go on the chi machine at first. His wife said, you're going on that thing. He went on that chi machine. Within a week of using the chi machine, it started scabbing over and it started itching because he got some feeling back. It took many months, but he totally got that sore to heal. He had been to all the doctors, the Mayo Clinic um, specialists, and nothing would heal, but he's alive and well today, and he saved his leg. Again, do you know anybody that's got diabetes that could be helped? Absolute godsend to him.